Hey friends, today we are checking into Disney's Coronado Springs Resort for a little staycation. I've never stayed here before, so I'm very excited to show you guys the room and also all the resort amenities. But first, we actually have to go check Gracie into her little staycation because she's staying at the pet hotel here at Walt Disney World, Best Friends. I am so excited. Anywho's, let's go do this. We're here, Gracie. It's time to go to Best Friends. Not over there, it's over here. I love the fact that on the outside of the building they have all the Disney dogs, but I don't see any Dalmatians. There's no Pongo or Perdita, so it's, it's a little strange. Looks like Gracie's gonna be the only Dalmatian here today. And Gracie is all checked in to her little vacation villa. Look at that. We brought her some play toys. She got a pillow, one of my shirts, her special uh, drinking dish, and she's chilling out watching uh, Moana. And it's got a little doggy cam there and access to uh, an outdoor patio. Are you excited? I'll keep my eye on you. <laughs> it's sometimes so hard to say goodbye, but she does look a little comfortable in there. <laughs> I mean, at least she is comfortable. Bye, Gracie. I am super nervous, and I'm sure Gracie's nervous, but I, like I said, I feel really comfortable here. The fact that there's a camera where I can just check on her 24-7, I can come and go as much as I want. So if I want to come visit her and play with her here, I can. And they send me report cards, and you can get extra like activities added to it and special snacks. So I kind of gave her, you know, the works. She's got the best. The vacation villa. She's got a private TV. I mean, she's living, she's living the good life. She's living the good life in there and uh okay i'm good <laughs> now that gracie's all settled in here we are coronado springs and our room is ready so i think we're gonna head on over there and get all settled in and then uh we're gonna give you a little room tour and the resort tour as well the reason that I'm staying here at Coronado Springs and Gracie is checking into Best Friends is because Disney invited us out to a media event for the Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser. I am so excited. Disney did comp the room here at Coronado Springs for me and we're gonna be uh, experiencing the Galactic Star Cruiser over the next uh, three days uh, doing different variations of what they have to offer inside and uh, just kind of giving you my overall we're all thoughts about it so I'm very excited now Disney does not want us releasing any of the information about the Galactic Star Cruiser until Friday it's under embargo so all of that stuff will actually be coming out Friday and this is gonna be its separate like little video of just kind of my process here at Coronado Springs Gracie and my overall like day-to-day -day, I guess most of the media event for the Galactic Star Cruiser doesn't start till tomorrow. Today there is like a welcoming dinner with a special panel with people from Lucas Films and also some of the Imagineers that worked on the project. And I'm not too sure if I can show you that or not. If I can, I'll include it in this video. Uh, but if not, we'll reca like recap with everything on Friday. Looks like we're staying in Casitas, building three and on the fourth floor. So, uh, we're gonna navigate our way through here. All right, here it is, room 3460. Gonna touch a little Mickey to Mickey and give you the uh, grand tour. This room is really big. I've already come in and put my stuff in, but I wanna give you guys a tour and I'm shocked. I'm like, wow. So this is a moderate resort, but I have to I have to say I feel like it's deluxe. Like the layout of the rooms, there's so much space, the amenities. This is impressive. Look at how amazing this room is. There is so much space in here. And like I, I said, I really feel like it's like deluxe resort. I mean, I know it's a moderate, but it's got the nice Keurigs with the 50th anniversary blend. I like it. We got a little fridge down here, I bet. Ooh, it's even got like the uh, exposed front. A nice desk, a chair, and it's got the fancy TV with the Disney On Demand. Two beds, some Three Caballeros artwork right there. And uh, we see the bathroom too. I love the doors as well. Like these doors that slide like this. Ooh, <laughs> very fancy. And before I was talking about all the storage, and uh, look at this, there's so much storage in here. Extra blankets up there. 
Got a little closet, an iron board. We got a steam iron. Something over here as well. Like lots and lots. Ooh boy. Some vanity kits. Oh, <laughs> I'm taking all those home. And then, oh, this is the uh, shower area. Nice stand up shower there. Very nice. Out of everything, I think I just like these doors the most. I just think they're so fancy. I wish I had sliding doors on my bathroom. I would love that. I like my house. The furniture isn't the most comfortable furniture I've ever sat on, but it does swivel. It does spin. So I'm going to have to test this out a little bit more. Now this, I like. <laughs> Look here, buddy. Ooh, no hands. <laughs> I also appreciate the fact that they have an open undercarriage here and you can stick all of your luggage down there if you wanted to. We all know somebody can actually fit under there. Uh, I've tested that theory out myself in the past. And it also, the beds look like they have nice little reading lights as well. Look. Oh, wow, that's it's really bright. Nice little reading lights, four pillows. Can't wait to test this bad boy out later on tonight. And yeah, like I said, nice. It's, it's a really nice room. I love the fact that they have Happily Ever After on demand. Like, look at this. Just one click away. Another thing I noticed, they give you a big safe here, like a big, big safe compared to some of the other places where they get those little small box safes. This is like the size of a mini fridge. Look at this. That's a big safe. Like they really give you a big old safe in there. And then over here, looks like we probably got the Bible. Oh yeah. And uh, a nice little phone here. I think the magic is calling. Answer the call. The only thing that makes this a non-deluxe resort, like to me personally, like the room itself, is probably the fact there's no balcony. That's the only thing. So like if you don't spend a lot of time on a balcony, then this is kind of like a deluxe resort room. Like, you know what I mean? Like that's, that's really, uh, like that's how I look at it. I mean, there are other things that actually determine whether or not a resort is a deluxe. The location is a, one of them. The view is one of them. And, uh, I mean, the view's okay. It's not the greatest, but it'll do. You can see a little bit of the water from here. And we can see some lawn care. Now that we're all settled in and we got to play with the doors and the chairs, I think it's time to go uh, explore the resort a little bit. Just give them a... A grand exploration. I kind of want to go all the way out here to take a peek see of what the view's like from the opposite side here. It is such a beautiful resort here though with the trees and the water. I love it. But we're gonna go just take a quick look see here. This resort is just so huge. Holy moly. Like wow. This is the view when you actually come out from your room. If there was a balcony, it would be amazing. But look at all that. Over there is the Grandestino Tower. And then there's so many places you can actually get food and drink here. There's like so many different restaurants and lounges. They have multiple pools. And we're going to explore around a little bit. I'm very excited to be staying here because this is like breathtaking. Let me give you a grand overview of the resort from this giant map right here. Sometimes it's hard pointing out things uh, from the little tiny map, but we are right here, and right here is a convention center, and then Grand Destino Tower, and then they have the cabanas over there, and they have ranchos and the dig site. This is one of the best pools, too, in the area, so we'll try to show you the pool later on, but they have pools basically in each area, I think, and uh, they're all separately themed to something, and uh, yeah. We're just going to go around and explore a little bit. I'm going to head inside now and give you a tour of the lobby area. And later on tonight, we're probably going to go hang out at Grand Destino Tower or over at Three Bridges because that's a wonderful lounge and uh, kind of just chill out. But first, I want to show you some of the inside of the lobby here at Coronado. 
before Grandestino Tower opened. This used to be the main check-in area. I remember coming here when it was the check-in area and I always love it. It always has like a nice smell in here and it has a wonderful water fountain and also one of my all-time favorite hidden Mickeys. If you just take a look up at the ceiling there, you can spot the hidden Mickey I'm talking about. And isn't that nifty? I love it. And right in the center there, it says Disney's Coronado Springs Resort. Panchitos has his own gift shop over here, and it's got a bunch of different Coronado Springs merchandise along with some grab-and-go drinks and stuff like that. And I'll just give you a quick look at this area because I do like it over here as well. Look at Panchito right here. They have a little statue of them. <laughs> and I love it. Look at all this Coronado Springs merchandise. They have shirts, they have coffee tumblers, mugs, magnets. A lot of it though has the Grandestino as like the icon of the park, even a wine glass. But before that, it was just Coronado. You know what I mean? It was still a great resort. Uh, but uh, since Grandestino opened up, I think it's gone a lot more popular. If you guys noticed, there was a lounge out in the middle of the water from the view up top that I was showing you. It's called Three Bridges, and they call it Three Bridges because there's three different bridges connecting to it. And it has amazing food and drinks over there. It's not open till 4.30, but I think we're going to walk over there just so we can hang out on the bridges because it's really beautiful being out on the water. Look at this. And it's got nice music. I love it. It can get a little windy out here, though. But look at these views. It makes me just want to get a drink and to walk around or even a coffee. <laughs> Can you imagine coming out here in the morning for a sunrise? Oh my lord, it's going to be so beautiful. Or even watching the sunset. Wow. Right here is Three Bridges, and it doesn't open up until 4.30, but I really want to come out and check this place out. Maybe later on tonight, this might be one of the stops that we actually come hang out at. It is so beautiful to be out on the water and just to have those views, and they have little heaters in case it gets chilly. And I also like this right here. It's kind of like a little floating garden. <laughs> I guess it's on the water. Now we're going to make our way over to the dig site in the main pool area. This has one of the best water slides I've ever seen. And it's got a nice little pool area like overall. There's tons of little tiny quiet pools in the different sections of the resort. But this one's my favorite. And uh, it's basically just on the other side of where I'm staying at. So you actually have to come all the way over here. And this is the only pool with a uh, slide in it I believe as well. I normally don't like showing off the pool area because people usually are swimming in there. But uh, I'm going to try to show you the best that I can because the water slide is so cool here. This is the pool itself and look at that. It is so big. It has this gigantic waterfall running into the stairs there. And the pool slide is on the other side there. I can't really show you that but I love it over here. It's just it's such a neat play, like, play area. Over here, they also have a volleyball area. They've got some cornhole, they have an arcade. The only thing is, is the volleyball like court doesn't have any net. At the pool bar, they actually have a little grab and go and like little kitchen area, siestas. And it has firecracker shrimp, pretzel bites, nachos, crispy grouper tacos, a lot of good offerings. And I think we're gonna grab a quick bite because later on, like I said, I wanna go to like Three Bridges or the Dolly Lounge, uh, some of the more things that open up later in the evening. And this is open 10 a.m. to 10 p.m., which is kind of like the only thing that's open before 4.30. And here is the firecracker shrimp. And honestly, I didn't know Boom Boom sauce was gonna be super spicy. I tried a little bit on my fork and I was like, wowza. So I'm actually gonna try a whole one and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna cough. <laughs> and I met up with Jackie and we're just hanging out before we actually head out on our little uh, adventure. And like I said, I got the uh, firecracker shrimp and it's it's, it's gonna be spicy. I already tried yeah. some, so I'm gonna go all in now. Okay, are you I gonna told try you one? Boom boom sauce was spicy. I can't eat that. Oh, oh boy, it's way too spicy. I'm gonna take this one because. But has you got your beer less. ready. So yeah, I got the beer. I got, ready. I got a nice Modelo. Okay. Here we go. It's good spice. It's, it's got. You can feel it in the nose. Yeah. You can feel it in the yeah. nose. Yeah. Yeah. I've had it before, and I know what you're feeling right now. Burning. Yeah. 
I tried to power through it, but I'm like, it's like really burning up. I'm kind of yeah. sweating. Like, yeah, this is like hot. I feel like very hot. Like, yeah. so I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna give up. I'm gonna give up and drink my good. Modelo. I did yeah. good though. Yeah. I ate quite a few. Yeah, more than I could. <laughs> The firecracker shrimp is just a little bit too spicy for me, but I didn't like anything else on the menu. It was either that or fried grouper tacos, and I'm kind of happy I got the spicy shrimp. Now that the shrimp and taco business is all taken care of, it's time to make our way back to the room so we can get ready for our little event tonight. Let's check in on Gracie Grill. Look at her. Oh, she's chilling out. That is so cute. I love the fact that best friends give you a cam so you can just look on your little fur babies whenever you want. But she looks like she's having a great time. She's really relaxed. And you can even talk to them too. So if I hit chat, then all of a sudden you see our picture pops up there. It sends a little ring. And you can say, hi, Gracie. Hi, baby. Aw, I love it. We have to use the elevator to go up to the fourth floor, but look at the hand Mickeys in here. Look at that. Can you spot them out? I love it. That is so cool. As I'm walking around this resort, around every single corner is like another beautiful area. I'm on my way over to the convention center because that's where we're going to meet up before we go to our like welcome dinner and panel. And look at this little nook over here. Isn't this just so beautiful? Holy moly, right? I love it. It's gorgeous here. We've made it over to the convention center and this is massive over here. Like, holy moly. Look at how big it is over here. And this is just one section. We have so much more. Like, there's a whole bunch going on here. And I love the murals too. And the fancy chairs. Ooh, a whole bunch of them. Look at them. Acting very fancy and suspicious. I'm not too sure what I can or cannot film, so I might be able to show you some of the panel. If not, then the next time we'll probably pick up the video is later on tonight when we go hang out around the resort, and we might just skip to that right now, or maybe some, some extra bonus footage. Who knows? Ooh, we got that special little lanyard. Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser media preview. And this is exciting. I'm very, very excited. A little nervous though. A little bit nervous, I have to say. And that is just about all I could have showed you uh, from that standpoint. Anything else, they didn't want any filming. So, uh, but it was really interesting. We went in to the uh, Contemporary and there was a nice dinner and it was a panel full of Imagineers uh, and people that have worked on the uh, Galactic Star Cruiser and we learned so much information about tomorrow. And it was amazing. I had a lot of fun. But now it's uh, back to the resort to have a little fun. And like I said, a big time jump, and now it's dark out, and it's all pretty. I love these lights right here, and the Laguna Bar is all opened up right there. But I think we're going to go over to Three Bridges, like I said I wanted to do earlier. That's open till midnight, and we can get some food and maybe a drink. I have to say, after hearing some of the people that are working on the Galactic Star Cruise or talk about their favorite things to do, I am super excited. And I'm probably excited for the uh, lightsaber training we're going to get to do tomorrow. And also the food. They have everything from blue shrimp, green rice, black bread. It seems like such like cool space food. And hopefully we get to try some of those later on. Like Try some of those tomorrow when we get to tour the Star Cruiser itself. And uh, hopefully you guys guys will see a video probably Friday morning about everything and all my experiences and my thoughts about the uh, Star Cruiser itself. But look at how beautiful it is out here right now. Look at that big beam going right down the Grand Destino Tower. And now we're going to head out on the water over to Three Bridges over here. Wouldn't mind getting something to eat too because they have some really good food. They even have a Three Bridges like burger that I think I would like to try. You know, sounds pretty fancy. I have a lot of anxiety about Gracie being at Best Friends for the first time. Normally, any time I would ever have to stay, I always have somebody that will stay with her or uh, she'll go with her mom. Or I used to have a dog sitter and a dog walker, but uh, I haven't had anybody for this upcoming trip. So Best Friends was going to be the best solution because if I wanted to take Gracie somewhere, I figure Disney would be the best. You know what I mean? That's how I would like it. I'm sure she would like it. And it is 
really nice living so and plus you get to check on her all the time all right here we are three bridges and i love coming here i like that it's open and you get to actually stare out at the water and grandestino tower there and also here is a look at the menu they have some food items like i said i knew they had the three bridges burger which is a crispy potato with garlic lemon aioli some arugula tomato and then smoked paprika fries that sounds really amazing and then they have a lot of other good offerings too and uh yeah i think i'm gonna i'm gonna go with the uh the burger i have had the french fries here before and they are phenomenal so i'm excited to try those but i don't know if i want to drink you know tomorrow we have a big day so uh i'd like to probably just go to bed a little bit early tonight and i don't want to get coffee either so maybe we'll get like a nice refreshing beverage maybe a non-alcoholic drink and uh maybe it's just a soda i don't know <laughs> one of the things i definitely want to do in the near future though is come back and do the signature sangria flight and they actually have a sangria class here where you uh kind of learn a lot about sangria and i think they only offer that one day a week so that might be a video all on its own they usually have a walk-up list for tables but the bar seating is first come first serve so we're actually just gonna head right on over find a spot sit down and uh, order our burger and our drink you can actually sit at the bars here or they have one on the water where it kind of overlooks the Grand Destino Tower so I think I like this a little bit more yeah this is the way I really love it here. It is so cool. It's the perfect chill atmosphere. And I already got my drink and it's a berry smash. Look at this. I like it. It looks really, really refreshing. It's made with strawberry, mint, and some soda water. So we're gonna give it a go. I'm sure it's probably not refillable though. Like that's the only bad thing when you get like these really, you get these like really good beverages. They're non-refillable. So you drink them real quick, but we'll find out. Oh yeah, oh that is nice, that's good. <laughs> nice and minty the way I like it. <laughs> oh, we have to check on Gracie here. You know I gotta keep up on my Gracie girl. It's a little bit dark in there. Oh, there she is. She's just hanging out. They have TV on for her too. And look at her, I love it. So there was like a, they said you can bring like a, a piece of clothing with you. So I brought a t-shirt and I made sure to wear the same t-shirt to bed like two nights in a row. So my scent was on it. And then I brought one of our favorite pillows and she looks like she's just chilling out there. Not too bad. You can also give her treats on here too, but I don't want to do that in the middle of the night. Let me just tell you, when I was talking before about my anxiety level with Gracie uh, and like leaving her at a new place, like the anxiety I was having was through the roof. Like she means so much to me. I, honestly, like I never thought I would have such like, like love for a pet before, but wow, Gracie has gotten me through the toughest of times. And I don't know if I talked about the rooms, but the price for her room was $130. $130 for dogs. And I just, I, I felt like I really wanted the best because she deserves the best. And I wanted to have that level of comfort. Now that's not even the most expensive room. They have rooms at Best Friends for like $250 a night. And this is for a dog, like a dog room itself. And it just blows my mind. Now you do have to add on additional stuff like that and like walks and snacks and stuff like that but i gave her the works i gave her everything and holy moly the burger has arrived look at this it looks so good i love these paprika fries right here you can just see it on there oh man and i asked for the aioli and the cheese on the side because i wasn't i wasn't too sure about it but it has the crispy potatoes on there the arugula the tomato look it's a good looking burger i mean that is a good good looking burger and uh we're gonna dive in first things first let's get ourselves a little french fry here and like i said that paprika like is like literally just falling off it it is a well-seasoned french fry mm. these french fries really might be the best french fries on disney property i mean oh man they are so so good all right, now it's time for the main event here, the burger. <laughs> mm. 
This burger is good. I wish they would season the patty a little bit more, but it's still a really good burger. I like the bun, and I like the crispy potatoes on there. It's good. I like it. And I like that they cook it on a char. It looks like it's charred a little bit, so they must be cooking it on a broiler top back there, not a flat top. I'm pretty sure if you want to make this burger a little bit better, you add some of the paprika fries to it, and it'll do the trick, but we're about to find out. Oh, yeah. That's all it needed. <laughs> that burger did the trick, but also I wanted to point out this fake fire pit over here. Look at this. It looks like the Gideon's uh, fire pit. Like you have to reach through the flames to get your cookies. That's so funny, isn't it? Now it's time to head back to the room and uh, go to bed. Wow, look at the lights reflecting off the water back there. I don't know, it's just really, really beautiful out here. I think the best way to get back to our room is actually going this way and back down this bridge because we're right over that way. So, nice long walk down the bridge here. Looks so nice, doesn't it? <laughs> now, would you look at this? Some nice rocking chairs here. I gotta give them a go, you know? I'm really loving the chair game here at Coronado Springs. Okay, I like this. <laughs> Got a little ghost rocking with me. Right, good stuff. <laughs> We're just rocking out. <laughs> now we are back in the room and it's time to go to bed. Listen to Happily Ever After. There we go. And I'm so excited for the uh, Galactic Star Cruiser tomorrow. It's been a really amazing day. And I'm sure the, the video is probably a little bit out of place. But it's probably because I'm a little nervous. I get nervous whenever I come to like media invites and stuff like that. And also nervous about Gracie Goo being at a new place together. So uh, it was a lot today. But I had a lot of fun. And I'm happy that I got to make a video and bring you guys along with me. And uh, I'm excited to make a little Galactic Star Cruiser video. I'll put that out Friday. Like I said, they won't let you put it out anytime sooner, but uh, time to uh, go to bed a little happily ever after. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye.